Welcome back everyone to statics chapter 2. We're gonna do problem 2.27. Okay, so it says determine the magnitude and direction measure counterclockwise from the positive x axis of the resultant force acting on the ring at O. This ring O. If the force F of A is equal to 750 newtons and it's this angle theta is equal to 45. Again. Okay? So if theta is equal to 45 degrees, this guy over here is also 45 degrees. And then if we want to find the resultant, so what I'm going to do, we're going to discompose f of a, we're going to discompose f of b into its x and y components. And after that, we're going to add them up and we're going to do the magnitude for the resultant. Okay, so let's start with f of a. So f of a in the x direction is going to be 750 newtons multiplied by the cosine of 45 degrees. So that will give us 750 cosine of 45 is going to be 530.33 we're in newtons and then f of a in its y direction it's actually the same because 750 sine of 45 degrees is equal to the cosine so it's 530.33 newtons okay so that's it for f of a let's do f of b so f of b in the x direction is gonna be 800 multiply by the cosine of 30 degrees, which is equal to 800 cosine of 30 degrees, it's 692.82 newtons. And if we do, let's do F, B, Y, it's equal to 800 sine of 30 degrees what is this going to be equal to sine of 30 it's equal to 400 newtons again so in order to find the resultant we're gonna add them up so the resultant in the x direction is gonna be a in the x well 530.33 plus the video, the f of b in the x direction which is 692.82 and this will give us this this 1223.2 newtons let's do the resultant in the y direction that's equal to the y that is going up for f of a which is 500 and 30.33 minus the 400 because they are going down there. so this is actually a negative number and this is equal to 100 and so 130 130.33 newtons okay now they want us to find the magnitude, so I'm gonna we're gonna do Pythagorean theorem, and this is going to be equal to the square root of the 1223.2 square plus the 130.33 square. Using our calculator, we're gonna do with the square root of the 1023 square plus the 130.33 square and this will give us a total of 1230 newtons so this is its magnitude and then all we're left at is find the direction so in order to find the direction we're gonna find theta which is by using the inverse tan of its y value which is 130.33 divided by its x value which is 1223.2 
and let's see how much that is so 130.33 divided by 1223.2 and this is equal to 6.08 degrees and this is our second answer okay so if you guys have any question or um, any suggestion please comment down below if not um, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.